Hey, hey, this is Matthew Beelmont, and welcome to another trailer reaction video. Today, we are going to look at Godzilla, King of the Monsters, final trailer. So, let's take a look. What we are witnessing here is the return of Titans. Ooh. How many of these things are there? Seventeen. I can't do it. Slow down. It's messed up. Madra. Oh, my. <laughs> One king to rule them all. This is guys in this world. We just live in it. Damn right. <laughs> well, that was fun, wasn't it? Well, yeah, I just noticed something that uh, they played Somewhere Over the Rainbow from Wizard of Oz, just like how the trailer for Ready Player One played Pure Imagination, this one played Wizard of Oz, uh, the Somewhere Over the Rainbow song, Rodan, Mothra, Ghidorah, oh my, it looks fun, and the way Mothra roared, it sounded like, you know, it sounded like this, so... If this is to that, then as for Godzilla, this is to that. Also, it looks exciting, and if this movie does well, hopefully, then Toho would give Mike Doherty a chance to do Godzilla 3. They give me the opportunity to create a freedom. Oh, just bring back Megalon already. I'm glad you brought back Rodan, but just bring back Megalon or Hedora or something. That's a good choice. Or maybe Gigan, Gorosaurus, Baragon. Just refer to my top 10 list. And speaking to, uh, speaking of which, I noticed something. While Godzilla, King of the Monsters, is going to be followed up by Godzilla vs. Kong, that's like the final note, I might ask you this. Did you notice that... I just noticed it, but I wasn't aware of it until now. I didn't explain to the other previous two trailers reaction videos, but... They were the, this movie was shot in Boston. Surprise? Yeah, there's no no monster movie was shot in Boston. And I'm not a little surprised, but here's a thing. In 2007, there was a Boston bomb scare, as but it was just a ballyhoo to promote the movie Aqua Teen Hunger Force Cold movie for theaters. Then in 2013, there was a Boston Marathon bombing. And when I was in Massart, I was trying to look for my senior thesis film, 
after watching the original King Kong at Bridal Theatre, I was thinking, oh, how about I'm going to make a nice monster movie where this Ray Harryhausen type monster movie where this monster comes out of the Charles River and starts attacking Boston. I'll just call it the Beast of Boston. This octopus dinosaur combination of a creature attacking Boston, but going to be done with stop motion. But I can't do it. I just couldn't because it's too untimely and with the boss and I just felt it was wrong and just like when 9-11 happened I mean when the Powerpuff Girls movie came out 10 months later people it bombed amongst one of the reasons was that 9-11 film critic Roger Ebert went on his high horse and started complaining about it's like 9-11 and it, yeah here it's kind of untimely but other movies came out in the in the year in the months that followed most like some of all fears Black Hawk Down The Kingdom and I, I was like roped into watching these movies by my family and I just didn't enjoy them a bit because when I go to the movies I go there for one reason to get my mind off the horrors and stresses of everyday life okay I mean come on now if I see these kind of movies I just leave the theater with more stress out of my body and out of my mind but when I see but uh, when I saw when the Powerpuff Girls movie came out it was kind of untimely I mean Come on, think of it. When the original Godzilla came out, it came out nine years after the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombing in 45. Nine years. And when Superman Returns came out in 2006, it came out nearly five months after 9-11. Five months! And recently I just heard this movie called Patriot's Day about the Boston Marathon bomb bombing. And... We, I heard it was with Mark Wahlberg, I think. But I did, and they're looking for a casting call to to play extras in the movie. I just said no. I just don't want to relive a horror like that. When, I, but at least the people who were responsible for the Boston Marathon bombing were caught and got their just desserts. So you see, when I go to the movies, I go there for one reason: to get my mind off the horrors and stresses of everyday life. I'm sorry. Talk talk about ending on a sour note. I I go see Godzilla King of the Monsters. I might see it. I know because it has Godzilla, Mothra, Rodan, King Ghidorah. But sorry. I don't know if I want to see it. I might see it. And I'll tell you if it's worth the watch. In fact, go see it. That way. So you can support this movie for a third Godzilla film. And maybe... And oh yeah, don't forget to see Godzilla vs. Kong due out next year. Uh, talk about ending on a sour note. This is Matthew B. Lamont saying, See ya!